Nidan, or internal alchemy, simplified Chinese, Nei Dan Shu, traditional Chinese, Nei Dan Shu, Pinyin, Nidan Shu, is an array of esoteric doctrines and physical, mental, and spiritual practices that Taoist initiates use to prolong life and create an immortal spiritual body that would survive after death. Scar and Pregadio, 2464. Also known as Jindan, Jind Golden Elixir. Inner alchemy combines theories derived from external alchemy, Wyden Wyden, correlative cosmology, including the five phases, the emblems of the Yijing, and medical theory, with techniques of Taoist meditation, Daoian gymnastics, and sexual hygiene. Baldrian Hussein, 2008, 762. In Nidan the human body becomes a cauldron or ding in which the three treasures of Jing essence qi breath and shen spirit are cultivated for the purpose of improving physical emotional and mental health and ultimately returning to the primordial unity of the Tao i.e. becoming an immortal it is believed the Xiaojun Tu is such a cultivation map. In China, it is an important form of practice for most schools of Taoism. Topic: Terminology. The Chinese compound Nidan combines the common word Ne Ne, meaning inside, inner, internal with Dan Dan, Cinnabar, Vermilion, Elixir, Alchemy. The antonym of Ne is YY, Outside, Exterior, External, and Nidan, Internal Elixir, Alchemy, was coined from the earlier complementary term Wyden Wydan, External Elixir, Alchemy. Chinese alchemical texts and sources ordinarily call Nidan the Jindan Dao Jin Dan Dao or Way of the Golden Elixir. In modern standard Chinese usage, the term Nidan Shu Ne Dan Shu with Shu art, skill, technique, method, refers generally to internal alchemical practices. The date for the earliest use of the term Nidan is uncertain. Arthur Whaley proposed that it was first recorded in the 559 vow taken by Tiantai Buddhist patriarch Nanyue Husi praying to successfully make an elixir that would keep him alive till the coming of Maitreya 1930 Many scholars agreed, including Joseph Needham and Lu Gui Djen who translated Husi's vow to live as an ascetic in the mountains. I am seeking for the longevity in order to defend the faith, not in order to enjoy worldly happiness. I pray that all the saints and sages will come to my help, so that I may get some good magic mushrooms gg, and numinous elixirs shendan shendan, enabling me to cure all illnesses and to stop both hunger and thirst. In this way I shall be able to practice continually the way of the sutras and to engage in the several forms of meditations. I shall hope to find a peaceful dwelling in the depths of the mountains, with enough numinous elixirs and medicine to carry out my plans. Thus by the aids of external elixirs widen, I shall be able to cultivate the elixir within Nidan, 1983-140. Others believed that Nidan first occurred in the biographies of Deng Yuji Deng Yuji Florida, 483-493 and Su Yuanming Su Yuanming Florida, c. 600. However, the authenticity of the relevant passages in these pseudo-historical sources is doubtful. Baldrian Hussein, 1989-164-171.
The term Nidan was seldom used throughout the late Tang dynasty 618 to 907 and five dynasties 907 to 960 period and only became widespread around the beginning of the Song dynasty 960-1279 period when Nidan evolved into a highly complex system in both its theoretical and practical aspects Baldrian Hussein 2008-763. Tang texts described internal alchemical practices with the words Fuyao Fuyao, take drug, medicine, and Changsheng Zhongsheng, long life, longevity, Taoism, eternal life. Baldrian Hussein 1989-170. Lu Shaiyui's Lu Shi Yu 988 Tai Shuen Lang Ranzi Jin Dao Shi Tai Zan Lang Ranzi Jin Dao Shi Master Tai Shuen Lang Ran's poems on advancing in the Tao has the earliest datable mention of the terms Nidan and Wyden Baldrian Hussein 1989-174, 172-173 1019 Yunji Chichian Taoist Anthology mentions the term Nidan Baldrian Hussein 1989-178. Early texts that mention Nidan define it as synonymous or similar with some qi circulation techniques, cultivation and transmutation Shulian Shulian, embryonic breathing tai shi tai shi, the cyclical elixir Huandan Haidan, the golden elixir Jindan Jindan, the great elixir Daidan Da Dan, the interior and exterior medicines Nei, Wai Yao Ne Wai Yao, the inner and outer counterparts Nei, Wai Xiang Ne Wai Xiang, and the yin elixir and yang elixir Yindan Yindan and Yangdan Yang Dan, Baldrian Hussein 1989-179-186. Based upon the textual evidence, Farzine Baldrian Hussein concludes that in early texts, Nidan refers to a specific technique, and by Song Emperor Zhenzong's reign 997-1022, the term designates a group of techniques, expressed in specific alchemical language 1989-187. History and development Nidan is part of the Chinese alchemical meditative tradition that is said to have been separated into internal and external at some point during the Tang dynasty. The Kantong Qi the kinship of the three is the earliest known book on theoretical alchemy in China, it was written by the alchemist Wei Boyang in 142 AD. This text influenced the formation of Nidan, whose earliest existing texts date from the first half of the 8th century. The authors of several Nidan articles refer to their teachings as the Way of the Golden Elixir Jindan Ji Dao. The majority of Chinese alchemical sources is found in the Daozang Daoist canon, the largest collection of Daoist texts. Nidan shares a significant portion of its notions and methods with classical Chinese medicine, fangxi and with other bodies of practices, such as meditation and the methods for nourishing life, yangsheng. What distinguishes alchemy from these related traditions is its unique view of the elixir as a material or immaterial entity that represents the original state of being and the attainment of that state. The Nidan tradition of internal alchemy is practiced by working with the energies that were already present in the human body as opposed to using natural substances, medicines or elixirs, from outside of the body. The Shangqing school of Taoism played an important role in the emergence of Nidan alchemy, after using Wyden mainly as a meditative practice, and therefore turning it from an external to an internal art. <laughs> 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 
Topic: The Three Treasures. Internal alchemy focuses upon transforming the bodily sandbow. Three treasures, which are the essential energies sustaining human life. Jing Jing, nutritive essence, essence, refined, perfected, extract, spirit, demon, sperm, seed. Qi Qi, vitality, energy, force, air, vapor, breath, spirit, vigor, attitude. Shen Shen, spirit, soul, mind, god, deity, supernatural being. According to the 13th century Book of Balance and Harmony, making one's essence complete, one can preserve the body. To do so, first keep the body at ease, and make sure there are no desires. Thereby energy can be made complete. Making one's energy complete, one can nurture the mind. To do so, first keep the mind pure, and make sure there are no thoughts. Thereby spirit can be made complete. Making one's spirit complete, one can recover emptiness. To do so, first keep the will sincere, and make sure body and mind are united. Thereby spirit can be returned to emptiness. To attain immortality, there is nothing else but the refinement of these three treasures, essence, energy, spirit. T.R. Co. 1956, 146, when the three treasures are internally maintained, along with a balance of yin and yang, it is possible to achieve a healthy body and longevity, which are the main goals of internal alchemy, Qing 1996, 395. Topic. Jing Jing essence referring to the energies of the physical body based upon the idea that death was caused by depleting one's Jing Taoist internal alchemy claimed that preserving Jing allowed one to achieve longevity if not immortality Shipper 1993 154 Topic. Qi Qi or Chai is defined as the natural energy of the universe and manifests in everyone and everything. Carol 2008. By means of internal alchemy, Taoists strive to obtain a positive flow of Qi through the body in paths moving to each individual organ. Smith 1986, 201. Healing practices such as acupuncture, massage, cupping and herbal medicines are believed to open up the qi meridians throughout the body so that the qi can flow freely. Keeping qi in balance and flowing throughout the body promotes health, imbalance can lead to sickness. Topic. Shen. Shen is the original spirit of the body. Taoists try to become conscious of Shen through meditation Smith 1986, 202. Topic. See also Daoyan Bigu avoiding grains Lu Yiming, seventeen thirty four to eighteen twenty one Nigong Nija Neijing two Qigong Topic Works cited Topic External Links Taoist Alchemy in the West, The Esoteric Paradigms, Lee Irwin. Taoist Alchemy. 
Fabrizio Pregadio. The Way of the Golden Elixir, An Introduction to Taoist Alchemy, Fabrizio Pregadio, PDF, free download. Secret of the Golden Flower, Walter Picca and Shigao and Early Chinese Meditation Techniques, Phra Kiatizic Kitapanyo, Diri Journal 1-98-118